man, what a day. Yeah, I know, these will kill me. <laughs> Somehow accumulated a tool haul today, so I might as well uh, just do it all in one shot. Get it out of the way. <laughs> oh, let's start off with uh, S&K. This came in. I, wait, let's, yeah, I start off with the uh, first part of my day. I stopped at work, pick up my mail. This order finally came in. I had to email them uh, because this didn't show up yet. And I was like wondering, it was the last piece of a... Uh, one order, it came in three pieces, okay, one, one or three shipments. So one came in, another one came in, and then I had to email them asking when this would come in, and finally it came in. This was last month's uh, steals and deals. So I figured I'd just get this because uh, I saw it in one of the past ones, I believe, and I figured I'd give it a shot. It comes with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six bits, and you get the uh, quarter inch. They look well machined. 9.30 seconds, oh yeah, made in USA. Very nice. That looks like it's a uh, roll stamp flat. That's nice. And uh, yeah, you can lock them in right here. Looks like it's a, what, like a sprag clutch deal? Because there's nothing on this bit. Some kind of little ball detent that sprags in. There's a number right there, patented. That's cool, USA. The only thing I don't like about this one, looking at it so far, is it's starting to turn white right there. Who knows how long that'll last. Does this screw out? No, it just spins. That's pretty cool, at least it spins on you. So, may over time you might uh, lose your bits. <laughs> I'm just gonna go over everything briefly. I don't wanna make this video too long. It's kinda like a dump video for me. I'm just gonna dump it on you guys <laughs> and just, uh, just uh, do it as like an unboxing and I'm behind on my KC tool unboxing. So hopefully I'll get that one out soon. Figured since I got a lot of stuff all in one shot, uh, do it all in one shot here. Yeah, it's not bad, kind of binds a little bit. Nice acetate handle on there. You can see how it was uh, pressed in right there. Pretty cool. Um, I liked how it locks. So far it's locking. Can I extend it out and lock it further? Yeah, so a ball goes in and locks. That's cool. So if you do have a longer bit, kind of quarter inch bit like that, if anything, if you have one like that, it, it'll lock in as a like a one-way ball. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, not bad. Uh forgot how much I picked it up. It's on it was on the steals and deals. So keep an eye out for that. And uh, it might show up again. Part number is 73516. So I'll put that there. Next visit, uh, I think I stopped by uh, Home Depot next after work and I finally found this guy. This one, um, everybody's been sending me photos of it and, and uh, haven't uh, seen it quite yet at my local Home Depots. And I finally went to an oddball one off the beaten path. It's not near any freeways. You have to actually drive down a lot of traffic lights to get to it and uh, they have it. So this is cool. This is my first look at it. Um, this will be on a bottle opener Friday. So you guys are getting a sneak peek right now at it. Uh, it's got the bottle opener right here. As you can see, some kind of fingerprint deal right there, I guess. So you can slide it forward and some kind of a lock right there. Uh, I'm not gonna open it up yet. It's gonna be for bottle opener Friday, but uh, still you get a Sneak peek here, the part number is 1005-748-343. And I believe they're doing a reset of the area that they're gonna, that the, all the blades are at. So that's cool. So you'll see it pretty soon. So this is nationwide. This is people in, uh, on the East Coast were reporting the seeing these. So this is gonna be on the shelves. So keep an eye on that. It comes with two blades too. I, my first time having a blade like that. Um, I did get the serrated blades were like two bucks. So. That'd be cool to see how the serrated ones look. So I have all three types of uh, Husky blades that they have. I think I think that's all they have. Um, it might be one more, but that's pretty cool right there. Fallback retraction. I guess that's what that thumbprint is or thumb control design. That's kind of trippy. Never seen a utility knife with a thumb control on it like that. And there's the hook blade. Oh man, you might get to, uh, might get cut in his mouth. 
It's like a cigar cutter. <laughs> Stick your finger in there. You, you might lose it. <laughs> oh, hopefully, you, after a couple of these, you might not lose it. <laughs> yeah, made in Taiwan. Still looks like you lift that up and it locks it in. Uh, I guess you lock it into one of the detents on the back of the, the blade. So it's going to be interesting. Uh, keep an eye on this. Uh, I'll probably do a couple of videos on my Instagram on how to use it. Because now I'm very interested now with that uh, this little lever here and, and that thumbprint thing. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so let's put that aside over here. Next stop I hit was the Sunny Tool Stop. <laughs> I did a video a long time ago of it, that uh, store. Let's see, hopefully I can get some clips in here of the store. Uh, yeah, it was a very long time ago. And I'm not able to do many much footage in there because it looks like an OSHA violation in there. There's a lot of stuff all over the floor. And uh, seeing a guy with a cane inside the store, they were probably uh, keeping a close eye on me. So I was mainly taking pictures of everything. Yeah, cool old stuff. A lot of uh, Chinese stuff, um, Pitbull and um, uh, a lot of, lot of uh, oddball brands. But... Uh, few little gems here and there so that's pretty cool um yeah it's kind of like a flea market store it's got a lot of tarp stuff and a lot of uh, hydroponic stuff in there it's taken over but it's still there and uh, it's kind of like a little museum a little bit too in some areas it's got a lot of old stuff in there so yeah it's a pretty cool little piece of history in my uh, town and i uh, stumbled across this set which is not too bad i believe they were down to 10 or 15 bucks for just the screwdrivers but uh, you don't see much of these with the case anymore so uh, yeah it's uh picked it up they marked it down to 29.99 and i saw these on ebay going for like 50 uh, with shipping and all that so the, sh the shipping might as well picked it up uh paid cash for it and got it for 29.99 at the little store that's cool it's been faded for a while these are the sonoto um cutters with the little plastic holder on them here let me show you i believe i did a video a while back probably search for that you just cut a piece and it holds it for you and it doesn't go anywhere that's pretty cool to then prevent the mess there from happening uh i don't have the oh there's a part number for you the th 125 nc nice little grip on it little tether on there Sinudo, i believe is the brand of these pretty cool and uh yeah so this is the philo screwdriver set here's your part number right there pause it right there if you want it's a long number there um they might have updated these because i've seen them in a new box now they're in a cardboard box now not a case and yeah it actually has latches wow oh hinges on them that's pretty cool and uh yeah it's got a little fade and wear on it so maybe i can Clean that up a little bit really dusty it's already getting dusty here and uh yeah yeah it's already coming off the hinges oh yeah you can see the the white right there that means uh yeah they will fall off soon but still cool to have a case let me show you the picture of the back here oh here's another number right here pause it right there. there's everything that comes in there looks like yeah we do get a tray with it that's pretty cool it's a flimsy tray nothing spent yet already started cracking on me but uh, that's cool. You at least get a tray rather than just a cardboard box. You can find these on eBay. There's there's still a couple sellers on eBay, but uh, so a couple of the photos too don't show this case. So uh, I might have to warn you on that. If you're looking around on eBay for these, uh, you might just get the screwdrivers in a cardboard piece rather than this case. So I uh, might have to uh, message the seller to make sure if it comes with a case or not. Uh, these aren't aged too much. No, Oh yeah, it's got the nice soft, see, let me see if I can show you. This is the ergo grip. Yeah, right right there. It goes in as a soft cushion in certain spots. And it's kind of like, maybe like a trilo pattern in there. But yeah, it's nice cushion grip. And you got the uh, peg holes to hang them up or a separate little uh, deal here where you can get some extra torque out of it. Um, Hex bolster is made out of plastic, so a wrench right there might work just as good. Not bad. These are uh, non-insulated. Got all these little warnings and writings on them like they're insulated, but no. 
The tip is pretty cool. It has the coating on it. These have already rubbed off already. You get, you get uh, three flatheads and two Phillips. So here are your sizes for the flatheads. Uh, they're not rolled, so they're definitely, um, they might bend on, especially on that one. But uh, yeah, sorry for the focus here. I need to keep moving on here. And the reason I got these as well is because of this bottle opener right here. They uh, all good at the match. I'm just finding this out at the same time as you are here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's a cool match right there. This one was a hard one to find. I had to get this one on eBay. Um, you'll find this photo and you'll get the other um, shape. This is the round shape. You'll get the diamond shape and it'll show this shape. So I finally got the other one. I got the diamond one at work. So I got this one and the other one. I got the diamond and the round ones of the other ones too. So I have a set of four and two blades each. So we got two yellows. One with this round and the other one with the diamond. So it's a complete set. And then in the two reds with the diamond and the round. And uh, well, here's the, yeah, so I just got home. So I'm all over the place here. Here's the Phillips head for you. Standard number two. And pretty cool. Let's put this off to the side. So now keep rolling here. The next thing I picked up at that store was this gem right here. This is the old uh, Craftsman, uh, Crest, Crescent Rapid Slide. So that is cool. Um, should I open this or should I keep it as a piece of history? I'm still thinking about it. I don't know if I should open it and try it out or keep it like this. Because it might be worth more as uh, in the package um, rather than um, opening it in the having it out of the package. I've seen these in the package on eBay going for about 50 bucks. Um, and then some out of the package for less. Uh, I did pay this much for it. They didn't uh, discount me. I did, I tried to pay cash, try to see if I can get them a little discount, but uh, yeah, they just, uh, this the way they are. So full price on that, but it's cool to have a little piece of history here. Cooper hand tools, I guess, had the patent uh, on it. Um, you might have to refresh my memory here on the uh, comments on this one, but I've seen this one shown many times and uh, I believe, yeah, it's a cool one as a collector here and I don't want to open this. <laughs> Exceeds ASME specifications. Oh, okay, so it is kind of like a clutch. Yeah, so this spins here. It's kind of like a friction here, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm just, I'm on the fence. I don't know if I should open it yet. You get a nice little measurement back here. That's cool. And metric. And then standard on this side, looks like. So it's an inch, eight inches long. The handle's not too thick. This might get in the way here. But yeah, pretty cool piece of history here. Made in China though, but uh, yeah, it's uh, cool to have here. I don't know. <laughs> I'll think about that. And uh, yeah, Popular Mechanics Breakthrough Award winner. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Let me get you a clear shot of the uh, the jaw here. Not bad. Looks like that can uh, be taken apart and cleaned out. It definitely with debris in there, it's not gonna work well. So that's gonna have to definitely be nice and clean there. You cannot get any debris or dirt in there. I can see that for sure. This one's nice and smooth. It was the smoothest out of the bunch that I could grab, didn't have much uh, debris on here and it wasn't too faded on here. So yeah, I might as well, might keep it and see how much it's worth later on. So that is pretty cool right there. Wish I could go a little bit further on that, do a little bit more research, but uh, yeah, I just picked up this whole haul. Next stop uh, was um, my sack fastener store. I have another video of my store over there. Picked this up for 50 bucks. I have a lot of Diablo. Definitely love to spend my money local whenever I can. And uh, yeah, definitely a cool set here. I was thinking about getting the wood one. Definitely need these again. So right there, nice little clip in this box here. Pause it right there if you wanna see all the description on there. Made in Switzerland. And I believe these are the same as the Bosch blades. 
I wanted to get this one right here, the clean wood one for 17 bucks. And then for 50 bucks, you get four more blades. Why not? They have these also in a star lock as well. So if you have star lock, they have those in stock. Um, not bad uh, selection of Diablo in there. Everything's Diablo now, I guess. And Bosch is slowly going away to these now. So Bosch owns uh, Diablo and Fruit, I believe, or vice versa. I didn't do any research on that. So if you want to correct me down below, go ahead. But the Switzerland I've seen on the Bosch as well. And uh, the reason I'm getting all these blades is I got the rigid one. These these are on discount right now at Home Depot too. These are down to eight bucks. And if uh, if you're able to find the plastic case like this and the rigid that was, went for 54 bucks, uh, if you could still find those, they're down to 24 bucks and maybe even lower than that. So keep an eye on that. I was looking, I was actually looking for that, but then I still needed more blades, so I just ended up getting this one. This was down to eight bucks, and this is just a regular wood and. Um, the reason I got these is because the Milwaukee one here that came with this new M12252620, um, yeah, it finally doled out. So it's finally got to the point where it's needing extra work and it's killing the battery. Um, yeah, it's not too bad when you got the right blade on this and it's cutting like butter. But if you got like a dull blade, it's, it'll start cutting out with the uh, 2.0 on it. Just uh FYI on that. So far, it's nice. Um, you got the rubberized uh, coating on the inside here for insulation. The M18 doesn't. M18, the M18 battery flaps around. And I'm talking about the two newest ones that are available from Milwaukee. So this just came out and the M18 came out. The M18 has an auto, auto mode on it, so it ramps up and it has a, a bigger light on it. It has, they both have the quick release and uh, quick release works very nicely. You gotta push hard on here though. I have to push it all the way forward because if you don't, you won't be able to untwist this one. So you just lightly um, screw it in here. I'll show you guys right here real quick. It has a magnet on there, holds it nicely. All you gotta do is just lightly thread it in and then go down and it's not gonna go anywhere. Simple as that. Uh, sometimes you you have a struggle going all the way forward around here and you got to really just push forward to finally let it loose. Like right now it's really tight. I got to really push forward all the way to there. See right there, then it loosens up. So that's kind of a pain in the butt right there. But other than that, once you get used to it, knowing that you have to really ramp it forward to unthread this, then you're fine. Um, yeah, uh, speeds are fine. This one seems a little faster than the M18 too. When you ramp it all the way up to the, the 10, I believe, I think it doesn't go to 12. Um, it doesn't seem as fast as this one. So, so I kind of noticed that on that. So pretty cool. There's no variable trigger. Got to keep that in mind. There's no variable on that. Um, it's just right here. And I, I bumped it a couple times, which is kind of annoying. Uh, but uh, as long as you're out of the way and realize it's there, uh, it's not too bad. But it does, it, it is bumpable and you're able to change uh, while working so keep that in mind as well just love that this is nice and slim and you can stand it up well, with the bigger 6.0 batteries so it will stand up a lot better than this the m18 will not stand up so the m18 is at a slant so you can only lay it down so keep that in mind as well on that don't want to go too long as videos i'm already like 20 minutes down here but uh yeah the um uh, I believe these Milwaukee's are the um, Imperial. If I'm wrong, you can correct me down below. So that's, it's, I say it's it's okay on the um, on the lasting for just wood only, not metal. I'm not talking about metal for wood. It's okay. I'm gonna be trying out these Diablos for wood and maybe metal later on with nail embedded wood and um, the rigid. So I'm gonna see which one lasts the longest. Um, definitely keep an eye on my Instagram to see more on that i don't think i'll be able to make a youtube video on that sorry guys but yeah it's just been busy uh lately part of my dust it's been really dusty in here i've been moving everything around and uh yeah just uh getting the tool shed done and yeah basically my life right now <laughs> big mess <laughs> but 
uh, at least we got to see all this and I, I got a little tool haul out of the way in the meantime. And uh, thanks for hanging on guys and on to the next. Thank <laughs> you.